Okay, everyone. So I got the van loaded for Monday. Had to add a few additional items. I have Dana Dolly, as well as the Dana Dolly head and track up there. And then I have the low rolling combo stands for the Dana Dolly. And yeah, I'm pretty much packed ready for tomorrow morning. It's gonna be a fun one. There's the Dana Dolly. I don't really have a good place to put this thing. I hate breaking it apart. It just takes a lot of time to set it up and whatnot. Eventually, I think I'm gonna get something to put on the roof for speed rail. Just like a makeup box or something that I can just slide a bunch of uh, speed rail into um that way i can carry like a 12 foot track if i wanted to like right now i think i'm like five foot on the dana dolly which is fine for most cases but obviously there's sometimes where you want a really long track so that's that's where it'd be nice to have some 12 foot uh speed rail on hand even for like building a menace arm or anything like that it'd be nice to have longer track on this vehicle. I also have a um, a China Ball Lantern um, attachment here. That's Bowen's mount. We'll be using that for tomorrow. And I'm providing all the G&E for tomorrow. So it's gonna be uh, a fun one. I'll keep you guys posted as we go. So here we are on location. We were filming at a local restaurant here in Little Rock and we were able to secure this location for the whole day. So unfortunately we were filming on the second story of the building here. So it made it a little difficult with equipment and setup. I wasn't able to utilize my cart or any sort of cart because of all the stairs. Luckily we had plenty of time on the schedule. We, we had an 8 a.m. call and we didn't start first shot till about after lunch, uh, around 12.30 or 1 p.m., something like that. So I was hired for this gig uh, through a friend of mine, uh, Brad, who is a uh, DP based in Little Rock. And he hired me for the day as kind of a gaffer, grip, AC, just a few kind of all around roles and also providing a lot of the equipment. So right now we're kind of talking about uh, the run of day and what it's gonna look like. We're setting up um, some lights and just things that we know for sure we're gonna utilize for the day. We also had a lot of open windows, so we decided to set up black flag just to kind of lessen the light in the areas that we needed less light so we could control it. Luckily, we were shooting on kind of a cloudy day, so we didn't really have too much trouble with the sun coming through as much. So we really wanted a soft key light. So I went with a book light. It's not set up the traditional way, just due to space. We have a, uh, an unbleached muslin on a frame that is acting as a bounce. And then we tied a eight by eight artificial silk on the top that we could drape and then shoot through that. And then I set up a 600D um, on the floor as our key light. So for today, we had four um, aperture 600 variation lights. So we had two uh, 600Ds, we had one 600C, which is the color tunable one, and then we had one 600X, which is the bicolor version. So those were pretty much all the lights for this shoot, which was nice working with all aperture lights. I was able to control some of this from the Sidus link, which just makes it a lot easier. We also had a wireless transmitter that was projecting onto an iPad. So that way we wouldn't have to go behind camera every time to dial in the lights. We could kind of do it remotely wherever we were. Always gotta be prepared.
We also had a bigger crew on this set. We had a director, a couple of producers. We also had Paul uh, Hewenfeld, who was on the shoot as well. He was running audio and also just general help with grip and lighting and all that. We also had makeup and wardrobe downstairs. Um, so this was definitely a bigger production. We did a lot of rehearsal uh, with talent before we actually started. Brad was using his Blackmagic Ursa Mini G2, the 4.6K version. And um, we had some Sigma Primes as well. So the client was a healthcare provider here in Arkansas. And we were filming some uh, 60 second spots, 30 second spots, and I believe even like a 15 second spot. And it's really nice with the Blackmagic Ursa Mini. They have like a director uh, view out from the SDI. So we were able to see all the camera settings and all the time code. We had a producer downstairs marking time codes for good takes and that sort of thing. But yeah, it was a really easy day, kind of a change of pace for me, just not having to worry about cameras as much and just focus more on dialing in, in the light. I like taking on some of these more corporate shoots where I don't have to worry about everything. I just kind of stay in my lane as much as possible and trust the process. And then I just kind of worry about lighting and and, you know, I, I, I try and go above and beyond for sure. So if there are certain things um, camera wise that, you know, I would make a suggestion on or, or something like that. Brad's super easy to work with and Paul's great to work with. I work with those guys quite a bit. We're all on the same page as far as look and and all that. So, yeah, thanks, guys, for watching and I'll see you in the next one.